Yo yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to Breaking Point on F123. Today we're gonna be doing Breaking Point Part 4, so let's head into it. Let's increase production of the F1 merchandise. Making this team successful helps every part of the business as it gets her name out there. And increase brand awareness. Oh, we can't even choose that? Okay. Then we have to go with the other one now. Let's focus on F123 car. Of course, this is playing in 2022. So was she on your radar at this point? Of course. She was making big waves in F2. Ooh. And Ackerman would not shut up about her. Here's our race leader, Callie Mayer. She has been blistering Mayer. around Zandvoort here today. Ali. And look at that! She's going into pit! <laughs> Davide Valasecki decided on there. She has been lapping at rapid pace, but is this the right call? Yeah, it's a bold move for sure. Looks crazy to me, but let's find out. Here she goes then on brand new tyres. The rest of the field still sticking with their original set. Where exactly does Cali Mayer come out? Let's see. I miss Davide Valsecki commentary. He used to do F1 eSport. I miss him. I wonder what he's doing these days. Okay, Kelly, let's go. We're going to leave it to you. You know what to do. Come on. Copy that. I'm on it. Copy that. I'm on it. Oh shit, I've already got control. Oh my god, it's in the series. Too easy. Get out of the lobby. So what's the goal here? Win the race. Ah, okay, so we made a pit stop in the sprint race. It's, uh, it's supposed to be like a Charles Leclerc esque kind of Bahrain race. For the people who don't know, go watch Charles Leclerc sprint race Bahrain. It's one of the craziest things you'll ever see in racing. Oh, we already got DRS hallway through the corner now, on Zandvoort. Sure, it used to be like down here. Oh, look at that, we got so much more speed. Big sense. Kali Meyer up to P9. Now Enzo up next. I wonder if Enzo has already played F123. Probably dead. If not, he'll do it soon. I'm sure. Alright, I'm gonna get some nice DRS here. Oh. Alright, we have six laps to go. Fast lap the race. Logan up next. And then it's Haufer. Haufer. That's too easy, chap. Too easy. Give me a challenge already. He might pop in a cheeky 360 mid race soon. But I've never done that in an F2 car, I think so. Honestly, you might just make another pit stop. Make it a bit more interesting, you know? Oops. 
bit loosey goosey. Liam up next. Oh my god, I'm this way. Alright, we've got the objective already, four laps to go. Another pit stop incoming. We're <laughs> already three seconds out. Oh wow, I need a harder difficulty. We need it. Gracie Meyer, the goat. I might need to uh, pop in a quick little 360 to make it more interesting. This has been too easy. Okay, I can definitely do a 360, but I've just lost so much time <laughs> drifting <laughs> and losing it. Oh dear. Crazy Meyer, what are you doing, mate? Started dropping off, we just lost seven seconds. Grazie ragazzi, P1 crazy, P1. Oh, look at that, all our bonuses are going up. Yay! Hey there, take a bow, what a masterclass to finish first here in the Netherlands. It was such an unlikely strategy from Maya, but she and the team have made a success of it. What a race, what a performance, what a genuine joy to watch. Our drivers are making their way out for the podium celebrations and it's going to be Trident picking up the winner's trophy. Congratulations to the entire team for coming out on top in that amazing race. I should put the graphics up. Looks like I'm playing. It's not even a spray coming out. I've got the graphics on the lowest. I need to turn it up. Ooh. Kelly, what do you put your success down to this season? Oh, I'd say probably my speed. In what way? I find lapping faster than everyone else really, really helps. Casper, <laughs> Casper. No, no, no. Seriously, though, I have a great team around me and... This guy, more than anyone else, has been pretty useful to have around. Gasper, what are you shy? Come up here. Yes, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and Callie says you've been a factor this season, Casper. I'm not the one driving. Didn't agree with my tyre strategy, though. <laughs> this one has no respect for railders. <laughs> but can you give us more detail as to the exact role that you're playing, Casper? None whatsoever. It's all about her. He's probably right, to be fair. So, were you already in touch with Kasper Ackerman at that point? <laughs> Ackerman and I go way back. Oh, what up, mate? Let me guess, you saw the race, could have been prouder, and everyone in the office wouldn't stop screaming. <laughs> well, that saved me a few minutes. Guess I'll speak to you later then. <laughs> How are you, Mum? Oh, I couldn't be prouder, Cal. That was one hell of a race. Everyone in the office wouldn't stop screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Honestly, the way you're driving, I think we're going to have to change your name. What's he this time? Callie Winner. You've got this in the bag, Cal. Oh, Range. OK, that that is the kind of award-winning journalism that we really do need right now, but one race at a time, OK? <laughs> That sounds like Casper talking. 
Is he looking after you? No. Yeah, yeah, always. Uh, actually, I've got a meeting with him that I'm running a bit late for, so I've got a dash, I'm sorry. Oh, OK, sweetheart. Call me tonight and well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, next chapter. What's up next? Japanese Grand Prix. We've gone from Sandford to Suzuka. It's quite a jump. I think there's like six races. Davidov? Connor, just uh, thought I'd call for catch up. Wait, wait, wait. What time is it where you are? Doesn't matter. I wanted a report before the race. Ah, right. I did ask them to send across all the data to you. Perhaps they forgot. I'll make you sure to, um... No, 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 I've got it all here. Busy man, Andrea. I don't have time to read all that. H how's it all look? Uh, the car is running well, data solid. The whole team seems confident, and based on the forecasts, we're sticking to the original tie strategy as we discussed. So, we'll see. Good. And the boys? Keeping to themselves, so no fireworks. Aiden's been a little quiet, but that's usually a good sign before a race. And Devon's... Uh... Well, I've already spoken to Devon. He's good to go. Oh. Right. Well, keep up the good work. Good luck. I'm sure we'll speak after. Team dinner confirmed. Let's go. Here's what I need. It's you attach me. What if you attach me? We're starting P13. Rubbish. Hey boss, got a couple of minutes? This is a give and take collection tell Aiden we need to see more consistency from both drivers before we start making commitments elsewhere. Now we need top three mate. All right. We need a podium. Eight okay, laps remaining. Push before the pit window opens. Push, push. On it. Oh, why is it suddenly cooking on the stripe? I'm sending it. Oh my god! That was gonna run wide. Are we gonna need the rest as well? From Carlos? Are we never making that? Is that Latifi getting lapped? In laps. Start of lap 6. What has Bro been up to? Oh my god. We'll take Bottas before lap 8. Where's Bottas? Oh, P8. But it's gonna be easy peasy lemon squeeze. And he's in the top 3 for a bonus. Easy. Give me the bonus already. Oh! Another pit stop here at Suzuka. This time it's Aiden Jackson coming in. He's been making steady progress today and Connor Sport need him to. They desperately need some results and they could do without this. What the fuck Look, is the tire? Chaos in that garage. Absolutely, only three wheels on the car at the moment, Crofty. Aiden Jackson looks on in despair. Here comes that spare wheel now. That's a long, <laughs> long time to wait. Just sat in the What the Daniel Ricciardo am I seeing? on down at Connor Sport? Well, the tyre is finally out of the garage and on the car, and Aidan Jackson's back out in the race, but it's a long time in the pit, and that will cost them dearly. What was that? How many places did I lose? OK, try not to worry about that, Aidan. Just focus on the race, get your head down, and let's put it back. There's no worse thing. I'm sick of this! on the planet then when you ask your engineer a question and he doesn't directly give an answer. Oh don't worry about it mate. Don't worry about it. Just say how many places he lost.
All right, now we cook. Now we cook. Oh my god, a bit wide, mate. Right, fastest lap is gonna cook this lap. DRS open, new set of tires. Right, we're almost up back up to P8. P3, however, is a bit far away. Right, fastest lap, fastest lap. Oh, Devon is up ahead. Let me cook. You want to destroy this kid? Yeah, get in the lobby. Oh, Oaken and Hamilton fighting up ahead. Voila. Too easy. We're gonna win this race. Mark my words. Made quite a lot of track change. Zuka as well. Okay, information on Science. They've got an issue with their car. They're gonna be slow. Mate, Science is like 20 seconds behind us. Five down. We do not care. Gonna give me a juicy slipstream. Big dive from coming up. Uh, a bit tricky. We don't care. We're aiming for the win here. Oh, I've suffered 7.7 ahead. That's maybe a little bit much. In two laps. That's an actual challenge. Closing an eight second gap in two and a half laps. Keep bottoming out over the inside curve.
Yeah, we're not getting P1 anymore. Unlucky. P2 it is. Hey, grazie, ragazzi. P2, agent 2. Bit debacle. What's a debacle? Anyone knows what a debacle is? Call at the top of the table. Meanwhile, at the other end, Ant, you can really understand Aidan Jackson's frustrations today. Yeah, they've had car problems all season long, Crofty. They've had a bad mix-up in the garage today, and Connor Sport won't be proud of that one. And Connor Sport won't be proud of that. It's the longest pit stop we've had this season. Not the sort of record any team wants to set. Nope. Oh, let's see what Aiden has to say. Well, Aiden, I'm sure you already know what I'm going to ask. That pit stop looked like a nightmare. So what on earth happened today? Yeah, mate, every race has yeah, hiccups. Well, we all know that every race has a hiccup, so you can just never tell when it's going to happen. You just got to be ready and roll the punches. I guess on the plus side, a mess up like that means that this mistake will never happen again. Well, there is a lot of talk on social media about whether Devon is actually getting preferential treatment by the team. <laughs> so do you think, is there any truth to that? Or is it an unfair assumption? <laughs> Should I say, of course there is, or no comment. But the fact that you a bit of preferential treatment with his current performance. <laughs> Uh, Devon struggles to keep up sometimes, so maybe you could use a little preferential treatment. Uh, no, I'm joking. Uh, whatever helps Devon and helps the team, it's, it's fine. Well, Aiden, the list seems to get longer. Car reliability, you and Devon bumping wheels, and now issues in the pit lane. Huge mounting problems at Connor Sport. Has there been any talk at all about what the team might do next season, considering that you and Devon just don't seem to get along? I'm not open to offers for next season. If I'm being honest, um, ah, that's acceptable. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't open to any offers next season. That's just business. So who knows what will happen next year? We've got that big of a donut as teammates. You can say that. It's been reported that Mercedes have agreed a deal for George Russell to play a small part in the latest Throttle Zone movie. What do you make of that? Can't wait to see yeah, the film. That sounds like a great opportunity for him. What was Throttle it Zone movies, they're they're amazing and they have such a massive fan base, so it's, it's great to see them acknowledge F1 in the way that it should be. And I think George is the perfect pick, so can't wait to see what he does. Appreciate it, thank you. Oh, David Oliver. Talk to me. About what? You saw the race, right? What is there to say? Thought you could do with blowing off a little steam. What is even the point in wasting any more energy? It's not the car, it's the team. It's not the team, it's the car. No one seems to care how much effort I'm putting into all of this. Which is why you need to double down. Listen, I promised I wouldn't say anything, but the top three are talking, Aiden. What? What? They've already reached out to us. Looks like there might be some last minute negotiations on the cards, but keep that to yourself, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. No doubt there'll be some wrangling. You can try it for another season, but your um, tenacity has been noticed. Wow, uh, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. You're not supposed to know. I hate to admit it, but Connor Sport can't keep up with you, Aiden. Just do me a favor, would you? Uh, yeah, uh, sure. What is it? I need you to push as hard as you can to get as much out of you before I lose you to a better team. Can you do that for me? Of course. No problem. Good boy. Good boy! You know I'm here whenever you need me. <gasps> that Speak soon. Like he's a fucking gog. You saw it, right? The pit stop? How am I supposed to deal with that? I know. I want a chance to prove what I can do, though. In a top tier seat. I deserve it. I've heard there might be interest. I just. I can't stay here. Okay. Well, what would you do? So, what advice did you give him? Well, I told him to try to stay calm, see out the season, and then go to the final team meeting. See if that changed his mind.
And where were you at this point? Oh, I was uh, busy getting Cali ready for the final race of the F2 season. Right, back to Cali we go. Final race of the F2 2022 season. Oh my, calm down. Evelyn. I know why you're calling, but um, make it quick because I have to keep my head in the game. Of course, darling, but it wouldn't be right if I didn't call to wish you luck. Thanks, Mum, but luck really won't do anything. I need a clean strategy and just to keep my head, that's all. Look, which you do and you will. Just breathe, Cal, okay? You've already put the work in. Now all you need to do is get out there and do what you always do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it! Yeah, you're right. Who knows if you bring this one home? Yeah, you I've heard enough, mate. How do I hang up? Mom, not go to race. Too much waffle. The final race of the season now well underway here in Abu Dhabi. A few different drivers in contention for the F2 championship. But here's the favorite, Cali Mayer. She's been so consistent this season, so fast. My money's on Mayer for the championship, no question. If she can finish high enough, the title belongs to her. What did it say? Finish on the podium. How am I doing? It's looking good, Cali. Come on, a podium should clinch this for us. Come on, Then podium it is. Come on, I'm getting the rest. Oh, he's gonna get as well. How's Hips a lap behind? We're three laps into the race. Even with damage, that's impressive. Under stair. Oh, holy fuck, moly. Oh, not the ideal line. At least we're gonna get near us. And uh, Wilson Huge is not. <laughs> Kalama, Kalama. Oh my god! Just put a blinker on. All right. Finish on the podium. The done. That's the finish first as a bonus. Dead deep, maybe we can get the rest. Not we can't. Oh, it's a left car. How are these left cars here? We're saving Japan. Easy lemon squeezy for Cali. Easy duck for Cali.
I wish there was a higher difficulty, not gonna lie. Doing these challenges and basically completing even the bonus one with two and a half laps to go. Three laps to go. It's uh, a bit boring. I mean, we overtook Drugovic last lap into this hairpin and we're over five seconds ahead. It is a little bit too easy. A little bit, just a tiny bit. See if we can. I'm trying to do 360, but it's just not possible. On high speed, at least. Celebration managed to pop the 360 in there. P1, Kelly. P1. She's done it as many predicted she would. A star is born. Kelly Mayer becomes the first woman ever to win the F2 championship. Historic. <laughs> Well, I mean, someone had to be the first. But I just hope that this shows that talent can get you as far as money. And what about your dad? Is he cool to congratulate you yet, Kelly? Nope. Next question. Hey, Kelly, Kelly oh. what's it like being a woman in motorsports? We're sure everyone wants to know. <sighs> I don't know, John. What's it like being a man in journalism? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Hot-headed. <laughs> yes, for sure, for sure. But you know, that's, that's kind of what you need in a driver. Let's not forget that Cali taking the championship was a big deal. You know, for, well, for the sport, but really for everyone. And for you, how did you feel? It was one of the proudest moments of my career. It was the first time I mentored anyone. Yeah. I was a little sad to be moving on. So... Had you already told Callie about your new job? Yes, yes, of course. And I told her, you know, how I wished that I could take her with me. But she understood. And Aidan, had you told him? No. No, he was, uh, he was too busy. Busy? Yeah, preparing to tell the team that he was leaving Connorsport. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for coming. I know Aidan had something he wanted to say, but first, I have a matter I would like to address formally. It is no secret that I have been spread a little thin <laughs> this season. I mean, I own the team, I run the team, it's, it's a lot, okay? Which is why I will be stepping away from the principal role next season. I'll still oh. be pushing Connor Sport Racing to be the brand we know it can be. And then Whilst Ackerman the comes in, will be laser becomes manager. Focused on performance and results. And we have already found a man to step into that role. Kasper. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Now, this is a big step up for me. I'm really looking forward to see what next season brings. It's truly an honor to be on board. I am sorry for the dramatic nature of the announcement, okay? Humor the man who pays you. <laughs> we all look forward to working with Casper, yes? Good. Then let us continue. Aiden, you had something you wanted to say? The floor is yours. No, he's not going to say it. No, it's, it's nothing. I just wanted to say, <clears throat> um, thank you, everybody, for all your hard work this year. 
And I'm really looking forward to next season, especially with Casper at the helm. Oh, is he now going to say a lot? But now we go into 2023, Bahrain Grand Prix. Did Casper being around affect you going into the 23 season? I have bigger things going on than Casper. Do you have any regrets about 2023? Anything you'd have done differently? No. No, I'm in a good place now. Besides, what's to uh, regret about being the story of the season? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in the AMG, no bitch, you better.